Namaste. Uh, welcome back to tutorial series on Super Pro Designer for Beginners, a step by step guide to process simulation. So, in this problem, uh, let us see how to simulate a stoichiometric CSTR or PFR based on the problem statement. Here, the problem statement says that ammonia is oxidized to produce nitric oxide. The fractional conversion of limiting reactant is 0.5. The inlet molar flow rates of ammonia and oxygen to oxidizer are 5 kilomole per hour each. The operating temperature and pressure are 25 degrees centigrade and 1 atmospheric respective, atmosphere respectively. Calculate the exit components of components molar flow rates and assume that the reactor operating adiabatically. And the stoichiometric equation is as follows. That is 4 NH3 plus 5 oxygen gives you 4 NO plus 6 uh, water. So first let us register the pure components. Go to this pure components tab. Register. Uh, we need ammonia, ammonia, it's available, I'll add ammonia, next one, oxygen by default it is available, nitric oxide, so nitric acid is there, nitric oxide I'll choose and again water is by default is available, so only two components, so both are available in the database, we'll register them, click OK, next is the problem statement says, so either PCSTR or PFR, let us simulate both and understand so what happens to the results. So go to this part uh, and here the task mode is chosen as continuous mode because both are CSTR and PFR directly chosen the continuous mode. You can even uh, simulate this in the batch mode also. So I have chosen mode as continuous, click OK, go to unit procedures, continuous reactions, stoichiometric reactor and CSTR because the kinetic information is not given. So I'll choose a stoichiometric reactor. Next, let us choose this uh, streams i uh, will add the first stream for uh, ammonia and also we need to charge the oxygen but let us use only one stream we will feed both oxygen and ammonia in single stream itself and we'll have one output stream we'll have one output stream so now we'll uh, rename this as reactants reactants and this will rename it as products rename this as products click ok and we need to uh, charge this particular or uh, initiate this stream so we need to add ammonia we need to add oxygen and he says that each one is of 5 kilo mole per hour so that is the reason so we by, our, by default it is hour is available we need to select the kilo mole first kilo mole first and we feed it is 5 kilo mole per hour of ammonia 5 kilo mole per hour of oxygen and you can notice the total flow rate is 10 kilo mole per hour. So click OK and right click on this. You can notice that there is no option to add the operations or remove the operations because it's a continuous process. Click operation data. We need to feed the information. So by default, you can notice that adiabatic is chosen. That is what we required also. And uh, volume will go with a default volume properties. And you can notice here most of these values are zero. The post simulation, most of this data will get updated. So I will show it later. Now the reactions, we need to set the, the equation, reaction equation that is ammonia, ammonia plus oxygen, oxygen gives you uh, nitric oxide plus water and I will select because uh, stoichiometric equation is the mole balance, I will click this molar and this given that is 4 ammonia, 5 oxygen gives you 4 nitric oxide plus 6 water. And you can notice both the side it is balanced, click OK. And it is also telling that uh, limiting reactant, fractional conversion uh, with respect to limiting reactant is 0.5, but we don't know what is, which is the limiting reactant. Software will automatically identify which is the limiting reactant and we'll just conversion is 50% based on the limiting reactant. Conversion is 50% based on the limiting reactant. If you know which is the limiting reactant, you can set that also, but here we don't know. Uh, based on the limiting reactant it is given so we'll set 50 percent so click ok most of the things added so i have not added the vent port so you can notice here uh, this is not uh, uh, reflecting so we'll just click ok if any pressure changes we'll look into it later and we will simulate it so once you simulate it you find the errors here stating that no liquid or solid material was available for this operation material balances and equipment sizing calculations will be skipped. So we need to add a small amount of a liquid or solid. In this case, I'll just add water and very small quantity I will add something around 0 0.0001 I will add 
click OK and let us simulate. Yes, this uh, particular error is disappeared because both the components are gaseous components. Software could not able to recognize the reactants. So that is the reason just add at a very small point. It is 0 0.0001 uh, particular kilo mole per hour of water. So that to bypass this particular error. And then if you look into this particular uh, product stream, you can notice that. So here again displaying in uh, uh, kg, I will just change it to kilo mole. You can notice that still uh, 3 kilo mole per hour of ammonia is uh, left out and the product produces 2 kilo mole per hour. So it means that you can play with multiple parameters to increase this particular conversion uh, of uh, like 50% conversion to uh, the more conversion maybe you can play with uh, process parameters and all. And uh, you can just uh, check what is the other parameters got updated in the uh, tab that is reactions. You can notice uh, in the particular operating condition as it is adiabatic, you can notice final temperature would be 17.3. So hope you understood how to simulate this particular CSTR. Let us also simulate the same problem using PFR. Go to this particular uh, uh, unit procedures, stoichiometric and we choose the PFR, choose the PFR. And again, we add this particular streams. Uh, one is input stream, one is input stream, and other one is output stream. And we need to rename this particular streams uh, that is reactants and it's already there. So we'll just uh, name it as reactants, reactants one because uh, we use reactants here. So again, it will not take just reactant one and we'll name this as product one, product one. So now uh, we initiate this stream. So ammonia and uh, oxygen, and this is kilo mole. So I'll add five kilo mole and five kilo mole. It is basically 10 kilo mole, click okay. And again, continuous operation. So you don't see uh, the add or remove operation, adiabatic. And final temperature, the software will calculate later. Volume will go with the default. Reactions, we need to set the stoichiometric reaction here. That is ammonia plus uh, oxygen gives you uh, nitric oxide plus water. Molar balance, again, molar equation is 4 and this is 5 and 4 and 6. So it is both the side, it is balanced. Click OK. Conversion is 50%, conversion is 50% and even operating conditions you can notice, uh, you may end up with the same error what CSTR was showing, like there is no solid or liquid component. But in this plug flow reactor, you can notice we the, by default it is chosen vapor phase. So if you choose liquid phase, obviously you are going to get that particular error. We, we need to take care that it is chosen as vapor phase so that you don't get that error with what we noticed in. Uh, simulating CSTR. So now click OK and let us simulate it. So yes, material balance ended successfully and you can notice here again it is showing in uh, kgs, kilo mole. So it is same result, same CSTR and PFR because more the, most of the properties are same. You can notice the same uh, results. So yes, you can notice the PFR volume utilized is 244 like uh, 652 liters okay so much of volume is utilized to carry out this particular reaction